What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video and welcome back to Vic Drives. This week's video is all about the beautiful thing behind me. My 2000 Mercedes ML320 in case you haven't been following the channel at all. In which case if you are interested to know more about this thing there will be a video in the top right corner I think of your screen. Everything's backwards so I don't I don't really know. Anyways you know how Every car has those uh, little plastic pieces. In some, it's just everything from like your dash to the floor. And then in others, it's more subtle things like, you know, your seat covers and stuff like that. Well, sometimes things break after 21 years of use and uh, this is a pretty similar situation of things not working. And uh, especially when you have this logo on your stuff, everything tends to be a little bit more expensive. So this piece right here has a nice hefty price tag of about $200 from Mercedes. Um, and I wasn't able to find any like price match things at you know junkyards or through other uh, owners or anything. So I figured I'd just deal with it on my own today. So I'm going to show you what the problem is. We're going to fix it. And then I have a couple other things that I need to do. So we'll get those out of the way as well. So I'm really hoping this comes through on camera, but if it doesn't, then oh well, I guess. Um, but if the light will shine in there. So I decided to be smart about it and actually use my phone instead of the bulky camera. So right here, right in there, you can see the part that broke. And if I move this up a little bit, there's the screw that's supposed to be holding this on. So that's what we're gonna fix. Okay, so this is what I have, what you can see on the screen right now. Um, assume that you're looking at it from where we were in the video. So this piece right here is where the screw would sit. So the screw has a little bit of a flat piece on it. I'm pretty sure that the camera's not gonna pick it up, but basically that flat piece would go and sit on that surface. And then the actual screw would go into the, the location that was, I guess, set there by Mercedes. Um, and this big outer section is essentially there to sit on top of the surface and basically after I screw this in, that will kind of pull everything together and hold it um, together, I guess is the easiest way to put it. Um, so I did extend the length of the part a little bit because this piece is going to stick out of it now. Um, but yeah, aside from that, this is what it looks like. Very simple, just like a little traffic cone almost. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this printed and while it's printing, we have something else to do. So I will see you back outside. Okay, so while that prints, we have another thing that we have to deal with. Um, so have you guys ever wondered what 21 year old floor mats look like? No? Well, uh, I'm about to show you. And there they are. Uh, this camera's not super great in low light, so I'll pull it out. But uh, do you guys do you guys see that? It looks like there's something under here. Oh my God! Wow! I'm not one to self-advertise, but uh, maybe you guys should listen to this secret under floor mat subscribe button and do just that. Anyways, I'm going to put you on a tripod and show you the mess that this is. Driver side. Pretty sure these were clear at one point, so that... Passenger side. And I'm, I'm seeing this brownness up here, and to be honest, I'm not 100% sure what it is. 
Um, but regardless, and a nice long piece for the back seats. This one's not as bad because we don't get a whole lot of foot traffic in the back. Regardless. So my parents, as fantastic as they are, went out and got me a set of floor mats for my birthday. Yeah, that's, that's really all there is to it. But they're nice, they're new, they're black. Uh, but I have to basically cut them to fit in the car. So, figured might as well do that while we're waiting for that thing to print. And I'm bringing you guys along. So let's go. All right, so could have used my workbench, but it's covered with stuff right now. So I'm just gonna do this on the floor. I'm not entirely sure how to open this, so I will start the camera back up after I figure it out. Hang tight. Two thousand years later. If anybody out there works for or knows somebody who works for WeatherTech, what the hell, man? Like, that was probably the most difficult thing that I've ever done. It was. It would probably be easier to break into a bank than it was to take that thing apart. Took literally forever. Anyways, here are our floor mats. And I got this little kit of uh, what I can only assume are really dangerous frisbees. Um, yeah, so I'm probably not going to use these. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and install these. So the best part about mats like this are that you can basically just toss them in there, figure out the size that you need, and then just cut off what you don't need. Obviously, it'd be a lot easier to just get mats that fit. Hello, darkness, my old friend. That's one in. So all I did was strip off this side over here. And I actually really only took out two rows up there. There's no light over there, so you guys can't really see it. But two rows over here and then only one that went up. So this is like the, the area where you rest your foot when you're not using it because it's only an automatic. Two pedals, boring life, but it's an SUV. So, you know, such is life. As our Lord and Savior Chris Fix would say, out with the old and in with the new. All right, let's go check up on that print. And this is probably the most boring content anyone has ever watched. off just like that obviously there are supports and stuff inside and outside that I have to pull off so I'll pull those off and then we'll head out to the car <laughs> and there we go you guys that's the right side just so you don't think I'm messing with you no movement and here's the left side. Right side with our makeshift fix. Ah, oh, hey, you know what would be a great video idea? Changing your floor mats and fixing a problem that 99.9% .9 of people will never encounter in their lives. Yeah, that'll be entertaining. I, <laughs> I, 
I really don't know what I was thinking. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully next week will be a lot more entertaining. I'll put a, I'll put a little bit more thought into that. Um, I mean, yes, the floor mats look great. Um, this video is not sponsored by WeatherTech. Not that you think that WeatherTech would ever sponsor me, because, I mean, look at me. Um, <laughs> but the seat works. The floor mats are solid, not 21-year-old pieces of plastic. Um, so, yeah. I'd consider it a success. So anyways, if you enjoyed the video and you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel where I will do more stupid things like this on a weekly basis. Every Wednesday, you can expect to see me do something ridiculous. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, with that, I'll catch you guys in next week's video. Peace.